Okay, we would like to thank you all more for being here and joining us in this event. All one less since last night until uh, the full day today. Kindly raise your hands. Lahat po na masaya na kayo nandito. Maraming salamat para hindi halata ang pakita niyo sa inyong mga mukha. Kindly uh, sabat na po. And so, kindly extend your hands. Shake the hands of those sitting beside you and show your and in this brand, and in this face, we who are carrying the message of the Lord should show who we are and what kind of message do we bring. So, thank you so much, Mo. Happy Sabbath, Senior Land. Again, we would like to greet also those who are watching us online. We are live broadcasting through the pages of Hope Channel Philippines, Hope Channel North Philippines, North Philippine Conference, at lahat po na live tayo sa Jisan. We are live right now sa Jisan. Channel 37, and of course those who are watching through the Digital Receivers Channel 45, thank you so much for joining us in this Vesper study of God's Word. Pasensya na po kayo ako magbibigay ang mensahe ngayon because a lot of things happen, especially my team are working here. And I'm there in South Africa. Alam niyo po yun. You are aware that we are invited to attend the worldwide meeting of Hope Channel Network Leadership in South Africa. And so, of course, last night I have thanked them already. Yung trainer po, he was made by Brent Strito, yung ating head script writer sa ating Hope Today. And of course, the program was coordinated by gay North Philippines officers and by Sharice and of course, Mamina and coordinated by my assistant and their assistant, si Kai Gandalera and of course, together with my secretary, si Giona and the rest of the team. Ang Hope Channel Philippines nandito, ang Hope Channel North Philippines nandiyan, ang Inigal Manila nandiyan, ang Pilipino Hub Easy Pass nandiyan at kayong lahat, our communication directors who have supported us in preparing for these programs for all the missions and conference, thank you so much, Spo. And just like what I mentioned also, I really praise the Lord for our administrators and directors and pastors together with volunteers and practitioners, meeting practitioners throughout their own territories who have joined us. Maraming maraming salamat po. Really, it is our heart's desire to maximize what we have been doing for many years already. This is our second term in the communication department in, the set, in this continuum. We have seen the impact and the influence we made to our volunteers and our members. Uh, we pray to the Lord that we may be able to reach a greater impact. And so He has impressed us to invite and challenge and encourage our leaders to join us on this enorm the enormous projects and endeavors that we may achieve and uh, reach more people for the Lord's glory. We have seen hope na we can only maximize our potential, not only in producing programs, but in uh, leading more people to the Lord if the call or the decision will come from the top, from our leaders, from our administrators, then you will see the greater impact of what we have been doing, what we are working together, and as we lead people to Him, it is only God whom we are going to glorify. Amen? So, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdating at pagsuporta and may we feel the Lord's presence as we continue our program tonight until uh, tomorrow. The message that I will be sharing to you this evening is entitled Supernatural Blessings. This message was shared by Elder Derek Morris in the opening program that we had in our meeting in South Africa. And I'm really blessed with the message that he had shared. I may not be able to share this accurately, just like I did share. Of course, I will contextualize it based on our situation. But hopefully, we'll be uh, studying a series of passive uh, texts 
I know you'll get, you will get the message that the Lord wants you to understand this evening. Do you still believe po ba na nowadays, during our time, God still can do supernatural, can give supernatural blessings to His people? Lahat na nininuwa lang ka sa kamay. Posible pa ba ito? Okay, I will rephrase the question. Do you believe that God can still give you supernatural blessings? Lahat na nininuwa lang ka sa kamay. Okay, okay. At least, uh, we know that you believe. And uh, if you believe, you will receive or achieve it. That is the Lord's promise to all of us this evening. So this is the thesis. A living connection with God brings supernatural blessings. Amen? So this is the answer already. We want to experience supernatural blessings. Now that we are living in the last days, now when we are living in modern times, since God had done it during His time when He was here uh, as recorded in the Bible, since God was able to do it uh, during the Bible times, He can still do it during our time. So what we need only to do is to have a living connection with Him. The passage that we're going to study is recorded in the book of Acts, chapter 8 po ito. But uh, you can see the story began of Acts chapter 6. You may be familiar with the seven day gods. Alam po natin ito, di ba? Aside from the apostles, the apostles, that uh, uh, they were the one who led in the preaching of the gospel, what the Lord had entrusted to them, they shared it to a lot of people. But there are a group of people who were not ministered to, especially the, the atawin ito, mga balo, yung mga walang asawa, yung mga mahirap. And so they called uh, seven deacons who will do this work. So, this, the names of these people were recorded on the books of Acts, on chapter 6 of Acts, verse 1 to 7. And one of these seven, of course, sino pong tinutukoy dito sa chapter 8? It is Philip. So, si Philip, Philip, hailed from Caesarea. Ulitin natin. So, a living connection with God will bring supernatural blessings in our life, especially in our ministry. So, again, this is Philip Po. Philip is not the Philip, one of the twelve, but is, it is Philip, one of the seven deacons. In verse 4 of chapter 8, it says here, Therefore, those who were scattered went everywhere, preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. So if the need is to take care of the orphans, the widows, and those who are poor, bakit si Philip ay nag-preach siya ng salita ng Diyos? So that's the main reason. Tandaan po natin. The main reason why they are called, why they are selected, why they are invited to be part of the ministry of the disciples is to take care of those who are not taken care of. The orphans, the widows, and the poor. But in this verse, it says here that Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. You can see here that Philip is ready not only to do his work, the work that is assigned to him, but the greater work that he can do based on the gifts and the talents that the Lord had given him. Amen? So, ibig sabihin po, huwag tayong uh, makontento sa na-assigned sa atin or the, or the things that we see ourselves that it is only this that we can do. We need to ask the Lord, Lord, maximize what I can do in order to reach 
other people and, and be able to share the message that you have given me. So we can see here in this verse, uh, Philip exceeded what is expected of him and so he did greater things than what he had been usually doing. Then in verse 6, and the multitudes with one accord needed the things spoken by my people. So he did not only do more than what he is expected to do, he preached the gospel and then he was able to do greater things to advance the work of the Lord. Amen? Sabi dito sa last part ng verse 6, Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Verse 7, For unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and many who were paralyzed and lay were healed. Because of Philip's living connection with God, and he's ready to do greater things than what he is expected of him. Supernatural blessings were given him. That's why he was able to perform miracles. Amen. So in our life, po, sa ating buhay, with our ministry, if we want to experience supernatural blessings, we need to have a supernatural relationship with God. A lot of people are experiencing miracles in their life. They want to see God miraculously do things for them or for their ministry. Lord, I want to have this. Lord, I want to do this. Lord, I want to see people converted through the ministry that I've been doing. Pero po, may mga premises. There are premises, there are things that we need to do first. Based from the passage that we are studying, Philip had a living connection with God. You can read the description of these people, the seven deacons, which were selected as recorded in Acts chapter 6, verse 1 to 7. People full of the Holy Spirit. Talagang, uh, we've heard the message of Pastor Moscato, the importance of being connected and being used, being uh, filled with the Holy Spirit as we do our work. We cannot do anything. Our airports are in vain if, if we are not connected with God. So with our living connection with Jesus, we can experience the supernatural blessings that He intends to give to each one of us. As long as we are ready to do things that is expected more than what is expected of us, we are ready to offer our life, our talents, the gift that He has given us. God will do wonders on our ministry. And this is the result of the supernatural relationship of Philip, which brings supernatural uh, result with his ministry. Acts chapter 8 verse 8, And there was great joy in that City. Amen? They were able to witness the miracles that the Lord had done to Philip. A lot of people were healed and many of them praised the Lord for what they have witnessed. Pero hindi pa po natatapos ang story at all. Verse 13. Then there was Simon. Who is Simon? The sorcerer. As described in chapter 3, Simon is a great man. He is doing wonders also. But after he had witnessed what Philip had been doing, he was baptized. He was amazed seeing the miracles, the signs where which were done through the Lord's servant, Philip. Mga kapatid ko, mga kasama ko, mga kasama namin mga leaders, we can only personally witness the impact, the result of what we have been doing. If, if we're going to experience what 
the deacon, hindi man lang apostle, teach a deacon. He is an ordinary member. Oh yeah, he is an officer of the church. Pero hindi niya, hindi niya tinaas ang kanyang sarili. Isang ordinary member, leader. So, we are not talking about position. We are not talking about responsibility, pain, or honor. Itong tao ito ang tinawag ng Panginoon. Sa isang sitting gawa, but he dedicated his life because of his living connection with God. He was able to experience supernatural blessing in his life and in his ministry that impacted even those who are impossible to be converted. Itong si Simon is a sorcerer. He's a great man. But he was baptized. Amen? Amen. Verse 26. Hindi pa tapos doon. And now an angel of the Lord spoke to Peter, saying, Arise and go toward the south, along the road which goes down from God, from Jerusalem to God. So of course you know the story. So, pero mo ito. An angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Have you asked the Lord to talk to you? Did you have an experience personally seeing the Lord leading in your life? Actually, po, in my experience, this is what I've been praying. Uh, that the Lord will lead us always. In every decision, in every direction, we can see the immensity and the enormity of the world that we have. Napakarami namin natin trabaho. Napakarami natin dapat gawin. Especially right now, I am nanglilita ko kapag naririnig ko palagi. Huwag nyo masyadong babamitin yung President of Home Channel Philippines. It's a lot of work. We have a lot of work already in the Department of the Communication here in the North Philippines. And uh, we are working with TV, Hope Channel, North Philippines. We have AWR and we have a lot of ministries, uh, media ministries. And uh, recently, uh, my family is entrusted to lead Hope Channel, Philippines, uh, where the board is composed of the three officers of its union, Dito sa Hope Philippines. And uh, they are expecting a lot because this is a pioneering work. The direction is for it to be established as like PPH uh, on its own, na self-sustaining, magbubuhay ng isa, and then uh, we can maximize the media TV world throughout the Philippines. And so, in every decision, in every direction, I carry the burden that I need to see the, the direction. Of the Lord. I know this is what our leaders, our administrators uh, from missions and conference, mga hospitals, mga uh, educational institutions and I know this is also uh, what you are asking to the Lord. That He will lead us, especially napakabibigan, napakahirap ng mga desisyon na kailangan natin gawin. So, just like assurance, just like the experience of healing, he was able to experience supernatural blessings and he was able to see clearly the leadings of the Lord in his ministry because he had a leading connection with Jesus. Amen. Yun po ang napakalaga na kailangan natin. And then verse 27, And he arose and went, And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship. And he was returning and sitting in his chariot. He was reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake his chariot. Verse 10. So Philip ran to him. And heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? Of course, you are familiar with the sound passage. You are familiar with the story. We often use this in uh, baptism. Po. Philip is able to lead the Ethiopian you know, in a study and understanding what he had been reading based on Isaiah 53. 
And then, you know, the succeeding part of the story. But my, the point that uh, I will be sharing here is, Philip, the message that he had received is from an angel. And then he was told, there was a man who was riding this chariot. And what he did, on verse 34, he said, Philip ran to him. We're not exactly sure gano'ng mabilis itong chariot na ito. Pero hindi ko alam kung kaya natin habulin ang isang chariot. I, I don't know if you are aware that my father po ay kutsero Kutsero ng kabayo. <laughs> ng kalasig, ng kalasig ba tawag doon? Uh, kalesa. Kapag kalesa, mabagal. Kaya ang huling talaga yan. Pero yung kalasig na tawag namin doon sa Pampanga, yung kalasig, hindi mo talaga kaya habulin yun. Nakikipagkarera yun eh. We're not really sure what is describing. But the fact is, the chariot is running, and then Philip ran after it. So, it's a supernatural thing to do. To to run after a harangin horse po. Para bang uh, taxi na habulin mo, Pagkatapos, kakausapin mo yung nasa loob ng taxi. Hindi natin alam kung paano nakapasok doon si Philip. At he was able to hear what the eunuch was reading. Hindi natin alam. A lot of things were not mentioned here. But the fact that Philip ran after the chariot, he was able to, to listen, to know what the eunuch was reading. And then, he was able to explain it. Mga kapatid namin, mga volunteers natin, you may be afraid on how you will share the Lord's message. Rest assured, God will give you supernatural blessing if you will have a living connection with Him. Amen? Yan po yung assurance niya sa atin. Verse 31, And He said, how can I, unless someone guides me and ask Philip to come up and sit with him? The place in the scripture which he read was this. Of course, yung sunod po nun ay yung chapter 53, nga na Isaiah. And so he was able to explain. He was able to talk to a high official po. Itong kausap nga, kilalima mataas na tao, uh, matalinang tao. But he was able to explain and convince him na katotohanan ang kaya sa Panginoon. So this is the Lord's encouragement to all of us. This message is not only for our leaders, but all of you, all of us, all of you who are listening to me right now, even those who are in the broadcast. Whatever your situation, whatever ministry that you are involved in, you may be involved in a what you think is a little ministry because you are a member, a deacon, or even an elder. Don't think that it is only pastors who can do this or leaders of the church. You can do greater things for the Lord as long as you allow Him to use you. You can only experience supernatural blessings in your ministry if you're going to have a living connection. With Jesus. Verse 38. So he could command the chariot to stand still. And both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and he baptized him. He was able to convince the eunuch that he needs to turn Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Marahil tayo po ay nagaanyanana, nagtatanong, will this ministry will produce results? Will uh, my YouTube broadcast or our Facebook broadcast will produce results? Katulad ng inyong narinig kay Brother Jerko. He started with three viewers. Now he has more than 60,000 subscribers. The Lord will do wonders in our ministry. So, he was baptized. Uh, we're not even sure po. Sabi ni Derek, I, I've searched in the internet the place where uh, Philip was uh, from Caesarea. And then, uh, 
yung lugar po yun, Cesarean of Gaza, is aggressive. How in the world they were able to pass through a place where there is water? I, I didn't even know. I cannot even imagine where there is water on a desert. But in that instance, God did wonders. He made a miracle for that eunuch to be baptized. So there may be uh, hindrances in our ministry. Now we think that are impossible to God. But uh, nothing is impossible to our most powerful God. He is ready to wonders, to make miracles on our behalf because of our living connection with Him. Now they came up to the water and the Spirit of the Lord could peel him away so that the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing. So ito po, hindi pa natapos. Verse 40, but Philip found himself at Asuchus. And as he passed through, he preached the gospel to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. So to come from the place where he had uh, preached to the Ethiopian eunuch, he was transported, he was brought to Asuchus. Miraculously. Kita, tinignan mo ito. That is Caesarea, where uh, Philip was from. And Asutus po ay nandito sa likod ko. Ayan dito, nandun sa baba. And uh, sabi ng internet, this is about 64 kilometers. Definitely, Philip did not run to this place. But based from the passage, he was miraculously transported from the place where the eunuch was and he was brought by the Spirit to us. It's a bad place. But he was brought there miraculously by the Holy Spirit. A living connection with God brings supernatural blessings. The life of a Christian in God's water and in His ministry. Ulitin ko po. Napakahalaga ang ating connection sa Panginoon. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, because of our relationship with Him, because of our connection with Him, because of His power that is filling us, we will be able to do greater things than what is expected of us and what He wants us to do while we are living in this world. Lahat po ng gusto makaranas ng ganito pagpapala mula sa Panginoon ta sa kamay. Your uh, raising of hands po. Signify that only that you want to experience your natural blessings. You are accepting the challenge that you will have a living connection with Jesus. Amen? Kaya po, we need to spend more time in prayer, in Bible study, we need to have a supernatural relationship with Jesus in order to have a supernatural, in order to experience supernatural blessings in our ministry. Tignan niyo po, isang ordinaryo miembro, Jacob, but at the latter part of the book of Acts, it is mentioned here that Billy Okay, an evangelist. He is described as an evangelist. Pero hindi pa rin natanggal yun. Who was one of the seven and stayed with him. Amen? It is not us who will live ourselves. Ulitin ko po, hindi tayo nag-ministry dito sa medium ministry para magpasikat. We are here because we have felt the calling of the Lord to share the gospel to the maximum. Right mindset, from sabi ni Brother Jericho. Right relationship and right motivation. This is what we need in order for us to maximize, to reach more people, to be able to draw more people to the Lord through this means that He had entrusted to each 
one of us, ang Panginoon mismo na taas kay Philip, Philip the Evangelist. But he is also at the same time reminded that he is one of the seven, but he is staying with the Lord. Hindi pa po tapos doon yung istorya. Meron pang isang puntos. If you want to experience supernatural blessing in your ministry, you have to have a living connection with Jesus. But more than that, if we have a living connection with God, this brings supernatural blessings in our ministry and in our family. Amen? Para mahina. Gusto niyo bang makaranas din ng pagpapala, hindi lamang sa inyong paglilingkod, kundi sa inyong mga pamilya. Amen. Tapos mo kamay. This is the Lord's promise to whoever, whoever minister to the Lord wholeheartedly being connected with God and seeing God's miracle in His life and His ministry. His promise po that He will not only bless our ministry, He will also bless our family. I praise the Lord. Tuntuwa ko nakita ko dito ang aming mga directors sa ating union and especially Mang Delma who is serving as the family ministry's director. It's a promise po. If, if we serve the Lord wholeheartedly, He will not only bless our ministries, but He will bless our family also. Verse 9 ng Acts chapter 21. Pinanggit doon na si Philip ay pinaas ng Diyos. Philip was described as not merely a deacon, but an evangelist. But he is the same guy because he is someone he was described still as one of the deacon. Verse 9. Now, this man, this man, Philip, had four virgin daughters. Who? Prophesy. Dahil si Philip ay tapat na naglingkod sa Panginoon. Pinagpala. Pati ang kanyang mga anak at pamilya. Joel 2.28 And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons, your daughters, shall prophesy. Your old men shall be tears. Your young men shall see visions. This is the Lord's promise in the last days. Gagamitin niya kayo. Kayo na mga anak namin. Kayo na mga kapatahan. Kayo na mga tinuruan namin. Tinrain namin. Ang prophecy kong binabangkit dito is hindi katulad ni Ellen White na mag na magpa-prophesy kung anong mangyayari sa hinaharap. The meaning of this word prophecy is to be a messenger. To be able to relate to the world the message that the Lord had and trusted to each one of us. Yung apat na anak ni Pili. Because of his living connection with Jesus, the Lord blesses his ministry. He was able to experience supernatural blessings in his life in his ministry, but more than that, he was able to experience natural blessings in his family. I know the Lord is ready to give this blessing to all of us. Hilingin po natin sa Panginoon, Lord, let me be the one. Ito yung tanong sa atin ngayon. Do what God wants you to do even it seems impossible. Yung mga bagay na inisip natin yung posible. Gusto natin gawin. Gusto natin mga kapalis. The Lord is giving us a concrete message right now that He can do wonders for our life, in our life, in our ministry, and in our family. Pusin ko na po. Maraming salamat. God bless you po sa kailangan ng ating pag-aaral.
Let us all bow our heads. Pray. We thank you, Lord and Father, for the message that you have given us this evening. Thank you for the assurance that uh, with the ministries where we are involved in, you will bless us. You will do wonders in our ministry, in our life, and in our families. But Lord, help us realize the importance of being connected with you. Lord, uh, don't allow us to hold on to our gadget and to the equipment that we are using in the ministry. But first, help us to spend more time in prayer and study your word. May our connection with you will be the source of our strength. And this knowledge and this, this connection with you, you are assuring us that we will be shown this position in the ministries where we are involved in. We are claiming your promise that you're going to do wonders in our life and in our ministry. And at the same time, Lord, we can see, clearly see your wonders working on the people that we have ministered to, primarily with our family, with the churches we are serving, and with all the, all the people that we come in contact with. May they see the God that we serve and His power working mightily in their hearts. Ultimately, they will be able to draw closer to Him and have a decision to accept Him as the Lord and Savior. Again, Lord, we praise You for what You have been doing on our behalf and for the assurance that You're going to bless us right now. We ask this in the loving name of Jesus. Amen.